Carbon dioxide emissions from vehicles are still on a growth trajectory worldwide. Altering this course to rapid and deep emission reductions is key to achieving the Paris Agreement goals. This chart illustrates the challenge and a way to tackle it. The red line at the top shows our current trajectory with adopted policies. The dotted orange line shows how low emissions from road transport would have to go to be compatible with limiting warming to 2 degrees Celsius. The largest vehicle markets, primarily Europe, North America, China, India, Japan, and South Korea, could make a significant dent in emissions by implementing policies and targets they've already proposed or announced. But accelerating the global transition to battery electric and hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, including in emerging markets and developing economies, is necessary to eliminate the gap with the two-degree pathway. This could be accomplished through a combination of market stimulus, infrastructure investment, and technology forcing policies. To limit warming to 1.5 degrees, governments would need to reduce vehicle CO2 emissions much faster, by 40 to 60% in 2030, and to near zero by 2050.